why we keep coming here. What's the matter now? It's like being at a cattle market. I'm surprised they don't come up and poke us with sticks. <laughs> They're only looking us over. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't mind. Why? You think you want a rosette? <laughs> I wish you'd cheer up. I wouldn't mind, but they're nothing special. Well, you can't expect too much. Trouble is, they've lost confidence. Most of those men have been rejected by their wives. Looks like they've been rejected by the army. But you can't expect them to be in mint condition. We're not. Nobody's perfect, Pam. I don't expect them to be perfect. Just wish they were genuine. The trouble is, they all pretend down here. Well, never mind. At least the doctor's genuine. You can tell he's a professional man. He's so intelligent. Yeah. He hides it well, though, doesn't he? <laughs> now, don't be bitter, Pam. It'll happen to you one day. You'll meet someone. I've been reading your stars. And it's not going to be Malcolm. He's a Gemini. He's not your type. I don't need the stars to tell me that. Well, what is your type? Well, uh, fair, I suppose. Honest, open eyes, strong white teeth, possibly clenching a briar pipe, sort of tweed jacket with leather patches, and a shy, almost diffident smile. <laughs> don't look now. I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> He's standing at the top of the steps. Who's surprised? I've been watching him all evening. <laughs> you coming over, Mel? In a minute. What are you doing? Surveying the field. What about Pam? What about her? Well, I thought, she doesn't own me, Clive. I'm a free spirit. I could have any woman in this room. Yeah. Except her. <laughs> All right, she's a challenge, I don't deny that. She's become to me what the north face of the Eiger is to a climber. But I'll get there. Yeah. When do you expect to make base camp, Mel? <laughs> is that a joke, Clive? Yeah. Don't joke, this is serious. Sorry, what are you going to do? Change to plan B. What's that? Well, I've chased her, I've praised her, I've admired her. Now I'm going to play it cool. Think it'll work? Ever been in a nice warm shower when the water's run cold, Clive? It's unbearable. <laughs> I get it. That's how she's going to feel. Right. And you're the shower. <laughs> you doing it again? <laughs> no. Yes, you are. A little joke goes a long way with you, doesn't it, Clive? <laughs> Sorry, Matt. Go on. Well, she's going to ask herself, where have I gone wrong? Am I losing my looks? Have I lost certain something? Then she's going to try to get me back. But she didn't want you in the first place. Yeah, I know that. But she won't want anyone else to have me. Won't she? No. That's why I want you to say, you saw me with a woman last night. What? I was seeing her into a taxi outside my place late. Why? Because it'll drive her crazy. She'll be insane with jealousy. Are you sure? Yeah, you have to understand women, Clive. <laughs> Hello, Jackie. I love that dress. Do you? Yeah, I really like it, the way it hugs the figure, the line, the cut. Sensational. Oh! <laughs> Don't you think Pam looks nice? Who? <laughs> Pamela. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> hey, Malk. Who was that girl I saw you with last night? <laughs> <laughs> what girl? You were seen into a taxi outside your place. What are you talking about? There wasn't any girl. <laughs> what he said? Seeing her into a taxi late at night. You're trying to stir things up, Clive. Huh? No. <laughs> Certainly sounds like it. I could have you for defamation of character. 
Sorry, I must have been mistaken. What? <laughs> no, I was wrong. It couldn't have been you. What do you mean? Of course it could have been me. <laughs> well, positive enough a minute ago. Well, yeah. Was I wearing a Burberry, soft felt hat and shades? Uh, yeah. That was me. <laughs> and was she wearing a silver Lurex jumpsuit with gold boots? That's right. That was my sister. <laughs> sister? You're trying to ruin my reputation around here, Clive. No. Well, it certainly sounds like it. <laughs> you want to be careful. Don't want to make anyone jealous, do we? Excuse me. Would you like to dance? That is, if you're not with anyone. No, I'm not with anyone. I'd love to. <laughs> you got a plan C, Mel? <laughs> So this is the first time you've been here, Jerry? Yes. And you were the first girl that I asked. Why? Well, when I walked in, I didn't see anyone else. Only you. I have to go on a diet. I thought you'd say no. You mean instead of yes, please? Are you, uh, on your own tonight? Yes. Uh, only I thought you might be with the, um, swarthy man. <laughs> no, I'm not with the swarthy man. Who is he? He's a gypsy. <laughs> Selling white heather. He's glaring at you. Probably giving me the evil eye. He's been watching you all evening. Not that I blame him. You are very attractive. No. Yes, you are. You're very attractive. No, I'm not. But you are, Pat. If I'm attractive, why am I sitting in a singles bar? Oh. Have I made you angry? I'm sorry. I think I've forgotten how to take a compliment. That's one thing I can't forgive my ex-husband for. When he walked out, he made me feel ugly. He walked out? Yes. No. Yes. There must be something wrong with him. There is. He's a slop. <laughs> there were faults on both sides. Can I... See you again. Why? Because I like you. And I've got these tickets for an art exhibition. Are you making a date? <laughs> yes, I suppose I am. It's just that I'm not used to it. You'd expect me doing this at my age. Your age? You're still young, Pam. I've got two grown up children. You don't look old enough. I'm old enough. Well, you're still beautiful. You're the most beautiful woman here. In fact, I think you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Keep talking. Do you like pictures, Clive? Yes. Would you like to come with us tomorrow night? If it's Rambo, I've seen it. <laughs> it's an art gallery, Clive. Oh, pictures. With frames around them. <laughs> yeah. We got tickets. Most of it's modern, I'm afraid. I don't mind modern, Jackie, as long as it says something to me. I've got this picture with waves coming out of the sea and turning into horses. People often remark on it. I'm sure they do. Shall we say seven? I'll tell Mal. No, Malcolm... What? Jerry's taking us. But I always go out with milk on Thursdays. Well, then you'll have to make an excuse. What does she see in him? I don't know. I mean, a pipe smoker. Don't you like pipe smokers, milk? It's a disgusting habit, Clive. <laughs> I don't know what he's smoking, but it smells like mouse droppings. <laughs> She doesn't seem to mind. She will when he starts cleaning it. Very messy people, pipe smokers, and they're slow-witted. If anyone's holding up traffic, you can bet it's a pipe smoker. <laughs> He's not being slow tonight. I think they're holding hands. She's only doing it to annoy me. Perhaps she's using plan B. You could say that. It's a counter to my ploy, of course. Seems to be working. No, it isn't. <laughs> and I shall stick to plan B. We go up west tomorrow night. I'll show her. Uh, <clears throat> I can't make it tomorrow night, Mel. Why not? 
I can't get a babysitter. <laughs> what about your mother? Nah, the kids have brought her legs up again. All right. I'll get you a sitter. Ah. Oh, I might be working late tomorrow. You don't work late on Thursdays. It's not your shift. I might be standing in. Well, we'll go out later then, eh? Oh, I think I'll have an early night, Mount. Why? I need the rest. I've been getting headaches again. What headaches? You don't have headaches? Oh, yeah, ever since Julie left. Strain. You haven't had one tonight? No. But you might have one tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, if I don't rest. <laughs> Let me get it straight. <laughs> You're not going out tomorrow night because you can't get a sitter. You're working late. And you're expecting a headache. <laughs> Something like that. I'll see you, Milk. Uh. Yes, I like the brushwork. So do I. And the tonal quality. Tonal quality. Composition worries me. It worried me. <laughs> 500. What? Surprisingly cheap. Very reasonable. I'll make a note of that one. Ah. <laughs> uh, mm, yes. A little primitive for my taste. I thought it was a little primitive. It says mother. Yeah. Ah. Hmm. I think I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all there, isn't it? <laughs> My mother's a lot like that. <laughs> ah, I've been looking for this one. <laughs> it says midnight. I think I can see it. <laughs> very evocative. It's very black, Jerry. Yes, but... If you look closely, you can just discern colour and shape, Pam. Oh, yes. Look deep into it. Think I can see water. I can see trees. <laughs> I can see a windmill. If you can see anything you want to, Clive, that's the artist's intention. It's all in the eye of the beholder. Like... Beauty. Come over here, Pam. There's a nude I want you to see. Are you enjoying this, Clive? Yes. I must say, it makes me want to get the brushes out again. Oh, did you paint, Clive? Yes. How exciting. Well, only to numbers, Jackie. <laughs> but they said I was quite talented. Oh. Do you mind if I say something, Clive? No. You've really blossomed this evening. Blossomed, have I? I think it's because he's not here. Who? Oh. You mustn't allow Malcolm to dominate you, Clive. He doesn't dominate me, Jackie. I don't care. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Jackie. Oh, Malcolm, what are you doing here? Well, oh, actually, I was looking for a picture. I need something to cover the wall safe. Oh. <laughs> On your own, Jackie? Uh, yes. You've been standing near a bonfire? No. <laughs> Honey, I thought I could smell smoke, or is it the, um, subtle fragrance of tobacco? Malcolm, Just a I... minute. I recognise those brogues. <laughs> they belong to a sick friend of mine, excuse me. <laughs> Mal. Clive? How's the headache? I didn't have one. So it would appear. How long have we known each other, Clive? Over 30 years. And in all that time, have you ever lied to me? No, never. Until now. No. Friendship's rarer than gold, Clive. I know. Yeah, we never let anyone spoil that friendship, not even Julie. And now this Burke with a mobile incinerator under his nose has come between <laughs> us. I thought I was doing you a favour, Mel. I knew you'd hate being dragged round here. No, I suppose you think I wouldn't appreciate it. I suppose you think I haven't got any taste. And this from someone who cuts the pictures off chocolate box lids and sticks them on the wall. I know what I like, Milk. And do you like this? Yes, it's very evocative. It's as black as your act, Clive. 
It's called Midnight. Midnight? Where's the stars? Where's the moon, Clive? You've got to look close. I am looking close. All I can see is black paint. What about this? That's called Mother. Mother? What are you doing here? Looking around. Are you following me? Look, just because our paths happen to lie in the same direction, it doesn't mean to say that I'm following you. It's just that you don't normally go to art galleries. Neither do you. You're only trying to impress the pipe smoker. Oh, you mean because he has taste? Because he's intelligent and cultivated? And married. What? He's married. What's the matter? Nothing. You look troubled. There's something on your mind, isn't there? I'm not troubled, and there's nothing on my mind. You're married, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to lose you. Oh, yes, and I suppose your wife doesn't understand you. She doesn't. It does happen. Look, we were very young. We married because it was the thing to do. It was a mistake. I didn't realise it until I saw you. And I saw you. And I thought you were genuine. The real thing. But as you said, it's all in the eye of the beholder. And that's what this has been. All my eye. No. I'm going to leave her. What? I'm walking out. Just like that? No, not just like that. I mean, I'm an art teacher. I can barely afford one mortgage, let alone two. It will be a struggle. I don't mind struggle. I'm an expert in struggling. <laughs> I didn't realise he was married. Oh, I did. It was the leather patches that gave him away. I wouldn't have gone if I'd have known that. No? How long have we known each other now? 30 years. 30 years. It's a long time. And I don't know the way he tried to come between us. I'm glad you saw through him, Mel. Yeah, I think I scotched that. You certainly scotched it. Pamela can get very angry. Right. What do you think she'll do? Probably go straight for the jugular. <laughs> I'll fetch my coat. What did he say? That's none of your business. I suppose he denied it. No. He told me everything. They've been drifting apart for years. They're not drifting apart. I've seen them. You followed him? I oh, don't worry. He didn't see me. I just followed the fumes from his pipe. Well, don't follow us anymore. I know everything. You know about the children, then? What? I saw them with him in the park and his wife. They all wore matching sweaters. They looked like a demented lifeboat crew. And they had this big sheepdog called Shep. I don't want to hear anymore. He had one kid on his shoulder, another by the hand. Looked like a commercial for life insurance. <laughs> I don't believe you. It's the fumes. They're softening your brain. I think your skin is turning yellow, too. Just leave me alone. What about his wife? What? How's she going to feel? I don't know. Well, you know how you feel. Yes, I know how I felt. Hello, darling. Jerry. <laughs> you look ravishing. Mm. Oh, shh. What's the matter? Double glazing reps in there. But I told you, we can't afford double glazing. But it's very reasonable. And they're giving us a free estimate. Well, I hope it won't take long. I want to change. Not evening classes again. I'm afraid so. I think you're overdoing it, Jerry. But we do need the money. Especially if you want double glazing. I have a word with it. It's a her. What? Huh? Jerry, this is Miss Dalrymple. Hello. I've just looked round the bedroom. Isn't it cosy? I do like the his and hers pillows. Thank you. But it is a cold room. Although I don't suppose you notice that once you've snuggled down. And there is condensation. That usually happens when heat is generated in the cold atmosphere. <laughs> but I'm sure we can cure that. Uh, perhaps we can talk about this, Miss Dalrymple. No. I have all the details I require. Don't ring us. We'll ring you. Good day. What a nice woman. 
Well, you must have felt pretty stupid. <laughs> not half as stupid as I felt. Of course, I knew there was something not quite right about him. What a pity you didn't tell me. You wouldn't have listened. You always were headstrong. What did you say to him? Nothing. Not in front of her. She was nice. But I gave him one of my looks. Oh, not one of your withering looks. I think he got the message. He would. You gave me one of your withering looks once. It took me a week to get over it. I don't think he'll show his face round here again. Pamela. <laughs> Jerry. I want to talk to you. There's nothing to say. It took a lot of nerve to come here. Well, you're not short of that, are you? You chick. I must talk to you. I'm desperate. Well, we can't talk here. I'll get my coat. Hi, Jerry. Oh, welcome. How's it going? Fine, fine. Like the pipe. What? Briar, isn't it? Yeah. Let me see. Why? I was thinking of taking it out. Oh. <laughs> After all, it's done wonders for you. So there's no hard feelings then? No. Not if you get me a drink. Oh. One coming up. Screen me, Clive. What? I've been waiting to get hold of this. What is it? I cleaned the budgie's cage out tonight. <laughs> Milk. Here we go then. Cheers. Cheers. It's very nice. I think it gives you that strong, reliable look. You've got a jaw for it too. Women must find it irresistible. After all, you're married. That's usually a drawback. Well, you know how it is, Mel. Some of us have got it. Right. And I do say love is blind. Or are you getting a divorce? <laughs> what? Or are you getting a divorce? Well, you're a man of the world. What do you think? I can guess. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. You look pale. <laughs> Tell the truth. I do feel a little queasy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. There's quite a stench in here, isn't there? Quite <laughs> yeah. My head's swimming. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what did you say to him? I told him to put up or shut up. I said you weren't the sort of girl to share a man with anyone. They say half a loaf's better than none. Doesn't make many sandwiches, though, does it? If you threatened him... I didn't threaten him. He looked very pale. I think that was guilt. Well, it doesn't matter much now, anyway. It's too late. Well, is it always me? Yeah. What do you think? If you enjoyed the comedy this morning, don't forget that every morning is a laugh here on Plus. After the break, though, it's soap time, starting with classic Coronation Street.